This is 411 News, and I'm Calvin Davis. And I'm Jason Willers. Last Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Martin Luther King Jr. was a man who peacefully fought for civil rights. King was born on January 15th in 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. During that time, the South had segregation, which means African Americans were separated in schools, pools, buses, and restrooms. King was black, so he grew up with discrimination, which made him become involved with the civil rights movement. King went through school, and after college, he became a church leader in 1954. In 1955, he became the leader of the bus boycott that lasted a little over a year. His actions convinced the Supreme Court to rule laws segregating buses unconstitutional. During this time, King had been arrested, was bombed, and experienced racism. However, this didn't push King down. In standing as a leader, it propelled him. King led several other peaceful protests. His most famous was the March to Washington, D.C. on August 28, 1963, where King delivered his I Have a Dream speech, which was improvised. King continued to fight for civil rights until he was killed on April 4, 1968. We celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day to honor his fight for equality and justice. Before we pass it off to Esten and Jacob, very good men, here's this week's quote. Out of a mountain of despair, a stone of hope. This was said by Martin Luther King Jr. Welcome back to 411 News. We are your B-Day anchors, Esten and Jacob. On January 13th, we had the Mario Kart Tournament. Today, we're going to be interviewing Craig. I heard that he won to see how it went. Congratulations, Craig! Hey guys, we're here with Craig Thompson, the winner of the Mario Kart Championship. So how many rounds were there in the tournament, Craig? Oh, let's see. Three rounds. What was your favorite part of the tournament? Honestly, the final match. That was pretty exciting. What was your least favorite part of the tournament? Probably waiting for the first round to get done. And what was the playing experience like? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was fun. That's pretty fun. Yeah. And how did you finish? Uh, finish first. Nice. Let's hear. Let's hear it for Craig, who won the Mario Kart tournament. We are going to kick it over to Owen Black for a new segment: Ten Kids, One Question. Hey there, I'm Owen Black, and we're playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? A group of 10 junior high stu students were chosen to answer one question. Let's see how they do. How many inches are two yards? 64. Thank you. How many inches are two yards? Um, I don't know, like 24? <laughs> Thank you. How many inches are in two yards? How many inches are in? Mm -hmm. 32 inches. Thank you. How many inches are in two yards? Uh, 16. Thank you. How many inches are in two yards? Um. <laughs> um 345. Thank you. Go ahead. How many inches are in two yards? Twenty-four. Thank you. How many inches are in two yards? Forty-six. Thank you. How many inches are in two yards? <coughs> um. One forty-four. Thank you. How many inches are in two yards? I'm just going to say 82. Oh, okay. Thank you to everyone who participated in our game, and congratulations to all that got the correct answer we were looking for. The answer we were hoping for was 72 inches. See you next time to see if you are smarter than a fifth grader. Student Council had their pizza parties on Wednesday, January 11th, and National Junior Honor Society will have theirs Wednesday, January 25th. Thank you to everyone who participated in those activities. It's great to see everyone in our school come together. It's all, also our entire school took part in the Geography Bee a couple weeks ago. And we'd like to congratulate the 8th grade winners first. Um, congratulations to Chevy Gordon, Jake Schramm, 
Rose Johnson, TJ Dodd, and Hudson Schuster. TJ and Hudson actually missed zero questions. In seventh grade, congratulations to Jack Martin, Dominic Hoke, Judah Stewart, Aubrey Hall, and Tate Fiel. Great effort in those first rounds of geography, and good luck to all the finalists in the final round. Pass it off to A Day Sports. Thank you, Esten and Jacob. The basketball girls have worked ridiculously hard to get up before school that practice at 6 a.m. We have some great skills out there on the court. To get everyone excited for the season, we will be talking to two very skilled ballers, Kelsey Williams and Brooklyn Kermode. Hello, Hadley, Kelsey, and Brooklyn. Hi. We are here today with three of Platteview's basketball girls, and we are going to get you guys ready for the season by having them tell us a little bit about themselves. Okay. All right. <laughs> How long have you guys played basketball? Since first grade. Like, fifth? First. Okay. And was getting up so early for practice worth it? No. <laughs> it's not very spiritful. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> not hyped up for the 6 a.m. Okay. Um, personally, I need it. Let me finish. Personally, I enjoy getting up and doing something in the morning, and I feel refreshed throughout the school day. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your favorite part of basketball season? Going to games. Games. Okay, okay. Any specific games? Like, is there a tournament you guys like? Or... What's the one place with Froyo? <gasps> oh, Plattsmith. Froyo's frozen. Plattsmith. We can Plattsmith attack there. Actually, yeah. no, the bus rides are oh, the, the best part. <laughs> the bus rides. <laughs> bus rides, okay. Um, when is your guys' first game? The 17th. Is it home or away? Away. Oh, oh, away. Oh, well, if you want to <laughs> make the trip up to Ralston, definitely go. So then you can skip school. <laughs> Not Wait. really. Um, how well do you think each team will do? Oh, we will all probably be dominate. Mm -hmm. Dominate. Do you have a pretty good, pretty good lineup of seventh graders this year too. I know there's a lot of mm -hmm. newer ones yep. that have gone on to A team. <laughs> yes. All right. We got, well, we got a good team. Um, the Platteview basketball girls are gonna have a really good season, and we hope that they do great. So go cheer them on at all their home games. Wrestling is also started up Tuesday at 6 a.m. as well. Can you believe that, Calvin? That is so crazy. All right, we are here with Maddie gotta, Staff, okay. who's new to wrestling, to let you know what the season has in store. What's good, Maddie? How are you feeling about wrestling starting? I'm feeling pretty confident. Okay, what are you looking most forward to this wrestling season? Um, probably away games or away meets. What got you into wrestling? Um, a lot of my friends do. How long have you been wrestling for? Never. <laughs> How do you predict this season will go? Uh, pretty good. I'm pretty confident. Welcome back. We are Esten, Jacob, and Evan. Our annual career day event is on Thursday, February 16th. The office is looking for adults who are willing to share our event, our students, with the, about their job responsibilities. What were your favorite careers last year, guys? Uh... <clears throat> Uh, the dog. Mike's dad. That was cool. Evan? Construction worker. I, I like the construction worker. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like it. I like the one with the, oh, the baby. Um, My mom. Yeah. Oh. Please check the flyer that was in the newsletter and pass along to anyone that, don't, that may have an exciting career to share. Thank you for all for watching. <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or stories, please email them to labelformanac at lformanac at sbcsid.org. We will see you next time. Stay spicy, Springfield. Nailed it.